where we have grown on a year on year basis by about 19 and a half percent overall growth in business was on the order of 24 percent compare this with the numbers of other banks you will find that we are getting the better there are four significant positives in this quarterly results which are our net interest income unlike what is happening in the industry has grown by a substantial amount of 29 percent our operating profits our operating profits have grown by about 27 percent our net profit of course has grown only by 10 and a half percent on account of slightly higher you know provisionings that had to be uh, made and yet another uh, you know important positive is that the net interest margin of the bank which was below 2% in the quarter 1 has reached a level of 2.26%. All of these four uh, you know, indicators are pointers. All these ratios, all these data, all these you know, numbers are pointers to the improving health uh, of the bank's balance sheet and the PNL and the credit entirely goes to uh, you know, all of you. Uh, we have grown in the retail side by almost 20 percent on the micro and small enterprises uh, front by almost 29 percent uh, as mr ballar rightly pointed out it has been our endeavor to rebalance our portfolios try and defocus partially from the corporate portfolio and try uh, to focus increasingly on the retail side because of the risks involved in the corporate lending in this current point in time is very pronounced uh, and therefore, in whatever endeavors we have uh, undertaken, whatever efforts we have put in, we have met with limited amount of success because the retail portfolio happened to uh, have a share of about 16% of an active charge and as I stand before you today, it is touching around 20% of the overall loan book, which is indeed a good sign because there will be dispersal of uh, credit risk, no credit risk concentration will be there and going forward, I am sure this will continue to grow and uh, bring better results uh, uh, to the bank. There are areas of concern as I mentioned. Uh, one is that Ballar also alluded uh, to that directly, indirectly. He said the chairman is a dream of two lakh crore citizens. This is a dream not only which is nurtured by the chairman, which is shared by all, all the 13,000 strong VGs. This is not my dream alone and I would appeal to all of you making use of this platform in the remaining you know, one and a half months kind of time frame. If all of us pool our energies and with a single minded uh, focus work towards reaching this milestone of two lakh crores of business, I am sure things will happen, things will fall in place. There is nothing impossible for the Vijayis to achieve. I would uh, very earnestly appeal to all of you Two lakh crores of business need be uh, the only mantra that we should chant from today till 31st of December 2013 and I am sure this dream will become a reality by the time uh, 31st December uh, uh, you know, comes. We are currently at around 1 lakh 80,000 crores and 20,000 crore addition in one and a half months time is not going to be easy, I am acutely aware of that and uh, I am sure uh, this is, though challenging, is certainly not impossible. Let us all uh, work together in unison and march towards reaching the two lakh crores of uh, coveted uh, top line, uh, you know, numbers. Casa, which is an area uh, where we are not doing well at all. Unfortunately, ours is uh, the least Casa, uh, you know, banking entity in the country today. We need to. Uh, you know, sit up, take note of this and work towards this. Adopt which has taken several initiatives and currently uh, a campaign is going on till 31st March 2014. I would, uh, through this platform, appeal to all the villages uh, to work, you know, unitedly for the scaling up of uh, CASA because in the medium term, in the long term, the growth in CASA will, you know, will, will drive and will decide the overall profitability of the uh, bank. This is a bank which is set up by the 
great philanthropist, late Atta Adar Balakrishna Shetty, who himself belonged to a farming community. And the objective for which this organization was set up at that point in time, more than 82 years back, because he was moved by the uh, living condition of the farmers of Mangalore and the villages in and around Mangalore. At that point in time, the farmers were in the shackles of the moneylenders and were not able to come out. And looking at their plight, looking at the penury and poverty in which they were living, he got an idea that there has got to be an institutional mechanism for delivery of credit at affordable interest rates to this community. And therefore, he, he, he sold the seed of India Bank uh, 82 years back. The, the, the pointer I am making is, are we doing well on this front? Today, we could have done much, much better, but we are not doing all that well. And therefore, the second appeal that I have to you is that let us not forget the objectives for which uh, you know, this bank was set up by the founders of this great organization and let us not leave any stone unturned as far as the rural lending in general and agricultural lending in particular is concerned. There is a need for us uh, to scale up the agricultural uh, finance uh, and avoid uh, you know, investing a large chunks of money in our IDF uh, which has uh, a negative carry uh, to the extent of around 6% per annum and currently we have about 3,300 crores in our idea. The mathematician in you can work out the kind of loss the bank is put to. I would earnestly appeal to all the, uh, you know, DJs to uh, work harder towards funding the uh, farming community. Uh, these are areas of, uh, you know, concern. Uh, I'm sure each one of us will take note of this uh, and uh, take corrective steps under the overall guidance of uh, uh, the head office of the bank. Uh, coming to today's uh, function, uh, as I mentioned, uh, thanks once again uh, Mr. Ballan and uh, Mr. Ranjan Shetty for having me in your mix today. Uh, I would like to say a few words about this uh, great association. Initially my interaction was with Ranjan Shetty when I joined the bank because Ranjan Shetty who was on the board. Later on that position went to Mr. Ballan. I have never ever seen in 40 years of my banking career an association as proactive as this. I am not saying this just because I am standing, standing in front of you and talking uh, as the chief guest of today's uh, function. No, these are words which come out of the bottommost part of my heart. Every time I meet Ranjan Shetty or Mr. Ballard or for that matter any other office matters of this association or any other association, association whether it is uh, workers, SCST or OBC, one thing that we unfailingly discussed at the beginning is bank, bank's business and bank's well-being. Now I have not seen this happening elsewhere. Uh, this is my third bank and I therefore I can unequivocally say that here is a trade union body which talks about the bank first and you know, about everything else later. That doesn't mean that they are not fighting for you. Let me make that also very clear. The kind of, uh, you know, sittings, long sittings, particularly in the evening, uh, when they come into my chambers, normally it is 7 o'clock in the evening, and even if I am about to leave, I give them time, because I am one person who is convinced that bank is like a chariot, Management and staff are like two, you know, wheels of those uh, that chariot, and these wheels need to move in unison. If the chariot has to be safe, if the chariot has to be firmly grounded, that doesn't mean that both the sides will, you know, compromise on fundamental basic things. And each one of us understand the others, uh, you know, limitations, others overall, uh, uh, you know, uh, the extent to which one can uh, stretch. And because of this understanding, <laughs> we have been able to uh, very clearly appreciate each other's concerns, each other's limitations, and wherever there are common meeting grounds, I am not going into the details of what little I have done during the last two, two and a half years of time frame. The post will, uh, you know, 
judge what we have done, but to the extent possible, all reasonable things for which uh, both Mr. Ranjan Shetty as well as uh, Mr. Pallar have been, uh, you know, uh, representing on your behalf, and likewise all other associations uh, we have been able to do. Yes, I do agree. Something more would have been done, but you know there are issues. But it doesn't mean that those issues, couple of which Mr. Balaj referred to in his, uh, uh, you know, address so very indirectly, so that it is not lost on the chairman. I have taken note of that. They are under our consideration. But uh, even at the appropriate time, we issue even those issues will get sorted out to the satisfaction of uh, you know all of us. To the satisfaction of all of us. And when we meet, we you know we, we discuss things uh, seriously. I am reminded of an anecdote which uh, I read somewhere. I thought I should place before you. In an organization, not with your guys. In an organization, there was uh, you know heated negotiation, heated debate going on between the management and the uh, representative bodies of the association. And what was it about? It was about misuse of sick leave, the provisos pertaining to the sick leave. And both the sides were uncompromising on its discussion, on its uh, uh, you know, approach to the whole issue. That uh, they ended in a deadlock and they agreed to disagree. But the good thing was that they said we will meet tomorrow morning. They said we will meet tomorrow morning again. So when the meeting started the next day morning, somebody from the management side picked up the newspaper and said, Look here, this is the sports page of the newspaper. The gentleman who yesterday called up and said he is sick has won a runner's up trophy in the golf tournament. The person who said, I am sick and therefore I am not able to attend office, has ultimately won a runner's up trophy in the golf tournament. The response quickly from the other side was, Sir, had he not been sick, he would have been the winner. <laughs> But in Vijaya we don't have this kind of uh, you know, discussions. Our discussions are on serious note. Both sides uh, you know, understand what uh, role we have to play. And we play it efficiently to the extent possible. And try and bring you know, relief to the members uh, at large. I am sure this kind of cordiality that we have been able to build during the last two and a half years kind of time frame will continue into eternity. And if that is done, I am sure why two lakh crores of business going forward, you know, you can scale up much further and reach that pinnacle of glory before it is uh, uh, too late. You know, before soon we will be able to reach uh, the glorified uh, uh, levels. Let me conclude by wishing the deliberations that we are going to have tomorrow and the day after. Uh, let deliberations be very fruitful. I am sure you will also discuss, uh, you know, the, the unfulfilled, uh, you know, kind of uh, demands, what improvement can be made, what needs to be done, etc., etc. But my sincere appeal to you uh, is that take at least half an hour, one hour, as you have been, you know, already doing regularly in all your meetings and interactions, and try and, you know, decide, resolve once and for all that come 31st December 2013, that coveted, you know, my slow figure of two lakh crores, we shall achieve together. All the best. Our CMD in his inevitable style has given the credit to Vijay's for the priority growth. His stroke people CEO, you know, the nomenclature is very much affected here by his modesty. And as usual, you know, he has dissected the figures, first the positives, NII, and NIM, etc. And the concerns are very subtly, subtly we are putting a concerns also. A bank started by agriculture is not doing very well on the private sector. That's why you know all the awards we can now visualize how we have won all these awards. CMD has also promised you know, solution to some of our long pending demands. I think this requires a thunderous applause from the crowd. And then he also created a management job. This is a typical CHA super recovery can only be only CHA super recovery can do it over the years. I have agreed, said Martin Luther King, you know, this very famous speech in 1963, our beloved CMD, when he took charge of the bank, declared he has a dream. 
dream to see Vijay as happy workers. He has indeed turned this dream into reality. All India Vijay Bank Officers Association gives a clarion call to all the Vijays to take a solemn pledge. We shall ensure that Vijay Bank surpasses the total business level of Rs. 2 lakh crores by December 13th, which is the best parting gift to CHS who pay the count. Sir, thank you for your scintillating address. We would have loved to have both of our executive directors and his sir, but unfortunately, you know, see, Ramara is away from Bangalore and officially too, in fact, has gone abroad. And see, K.R. Shanai, executive director or another invited guest of honor, could not attend today's function due to pressing official engagement at Koiko. You would be failing in our duty if we do not mention a few of his superlative qualities. He has always been approachable and he along with that, our beloved CMD is instrumental in taking a pragmatic view on the disciplinary cases, disposing, them, disposing of them in record time. This has, paved, this has paved way for cordial industrial relations. See, K.R. Shanai has sent the following message. Quote, let me congratulate and compliment all India Vijay Bank Officers Association on the occasion of their 15th general body meeting and the All India Conference. AVB has a long and pride of place amongst the East, is known for its practical and pragmatic approach to issues, and I am sure they will continue to serve the interest of both its members and our great institutions with more vigor for many more decades to come. I am very happy of the constructive role played by responsible unions like AVBOA in both the growth of the bank and in reaching banking services to the masses. We have had excellent industrial relations thanks to an understanding and enlightened leadership under which the officers have shown exemplary commitment to the growth of the organization. Today, if Vijay Bank is holding its head high in the committee of banks, the credit should go to its legion of employees who have put their heart and soul to make it what it is now. I am sure Vijay Bank will continue to enjoy harmonious relationship with its employees in the years to come. It is only the combined efforts that will ensure continuous growth, amicable settlement of issues, space for concerns of each other and pursuit of a common goal are the hallmarks of a progressive and liberal leadership which we are fortunate to have in amongst our unions and AVB stands tall among them. Please put your hands together for the warm message. We will move on. Sri Verma Venkatesh is an end chartered accountant, you know, with a voice chart, I would rather astonished his voice chart and an astounding economist. His book, Sense, Sensex and Sentiments, describes the shocking ways as to how corruption is practiced in India with illicit outflow of domestic capital. How US dollar 500 billion is taxed away in tax havens. In his another book, A Decade of Decay, he advocates sweeping economic, administrative and judicial reforms. Audience is here to hear from the house's mom the untold stories. May I request C. Vimar Vintesh to deliver the keynote address? C. Vimar Vintesh. 